I feel like somebody came in and pretended to know what they were doing. This should have been in the report. Yep. This should have been in the report. Every time I turn around, I'm finding something new. This is uh, dangerous. It's not in a report. This is absolutely dangerous. What exhaust come off that vehicle? Carbon monoxide. Where does yeah. it go? It's going to go in the house. I'm worried this house could catch fire and start all the other houses on fire. This is unacceptable. If I knew the house was in this condition and all the problems that were in it, I wouldn't have bought it. Should the inspector have caught it? Yes. Kathy's single mom decided to downsize from a nice big house in the same neighborhood to a townhouse. She got a home inspection. I like that. Didn't really say anything was wrong with the house, you know, and what are the signs? Why do they call me? Well, there appears to be problems in the kitchen. There appears to be something strange about the electrical. We're going to look at this townhouse. We're going to find out what was done, was there permits, and what we need to do, and how we're going to make it right. In 2005, I became ill. I can't physically take care of the home that I had anymore. As a result, we decided to downsize and move to a townhouse that would be easier to maintain. I've been a police officer since uh, 1987. I responded to a basic shoplifting call. And I was talking to him about the bag that he committed the theft with. And he grabbed my gun, and he punched me in the face at the same time. And I went down on the ground at that point because I was using both hands to protect my firearm. He would have killed me. I've received about 40 punches to my head. And so as a result, I suffer from something that's called dystonia, which is uh, in the family of the Parkinson's disease. There we go. So what ends up happening is I get uh, paralysis down the left side of my face, and I end up becoming extremely weak on the left side and suffer from extreme migraines. Something bad happened, but something good came out of it. Even though I'm sick, I'm at home with my daughter, Rebecca. She's a real blessing to me. She just brings so much joy to my life. <laughs> you win. Moving into this house was supposed to be for yes. us to have a fresh start together. And I've not been able to spend time with her because it's just been one nightmare after the next. With the amount of things that are wrong in my house, this is how people that are good home inspectors get bad names. You must be Hi. Becky. Yeah, nice I'm Mike. To meet you. Nice to meet you, Kathy. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mike. I hear we have some electrical and plumbing problems in this little corporation yeah. here. You might say more than just a few. More than just a few. Yeah. Let's go right to the basement. Come on in. Thank you. So I can start if you want right here. I have this lovely bank of. You sure plugs. do. <laughs> Sixteen. Uh, tells me, let's look at the electrical. Why, what was done, called an electrician. Real simple. Right away, I see electrical. Somebody's punched holes, ran new lines. Ran a lot of lines that probably ran over to there. Yeah. All those receptacles. Somebody's done a lot of electrical changes. Well, like, do you know if there's any rentals done here? Yeah, apparently they had a flood here, and so they did uh, some renovations. It seems the home inspector you had in here, because I've read the report, uh, was very weak. It didn't say anything about electrical issues, nor nothing about wonderful 16 plugs right here and why. So none of this was here. They've cut in and tied in the plumbing and installed the washer and dryer here. So I'm curious to where it was before. This used to be a closet. We could see the rod. What's the hose? This hose was a surprise. This. Um... There's a, a toggle switch here to make the water come into the laundry tub. Diverter. And then I've got a hose that comes up over the ceiling, across through the wall, down through the wall, and comes out through the vanity in my bathroom 
When I saw the hose that was under that cabinet when the inspector was here, I thought that they had connected it somehow to the plumbing underneath the sink. Put these things in the report. We have lines hanging across. What the hell's the hose? Question mark, you know? So this will have to be looked at. Should have been noted, much like the electrical here, and I have a feeling I'm going to see a hell of a lot more. Let's walk through. So once again, we have two banks, doubles, actually three. More than anything, I want to make sure that the receptacles that were run are proper. Double lights. That's correct wiring. OK. And then, then we have more. My more we electrical have more. circuits. You know, my first thought is this a grow up. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think that they've uh, somebody's ran something for possibly a ton of computers. Someone had an office down here, is my guess. So the panel looks fine. It's a new panel. Was there permits pulled? I would say no, simply because I don't see staples on the lines. So what do you feel is wrong? Are you seeing arcing? Any worries whatsoever on the electrical? Um, well, I've had numerous arcings. Um, Where? Coming down the stairs over top of the laundry tub uh, in the garage mm -hmm. that's arced out there. I don't think there's any risk of electrical just by adding a ton of receptacles. What I care about is were there permits pulled? And if there was no permits, now was it done properly? Aluminum wiring upstairs, copper wire downstairs, did anybody tie into aluminum? Copper and aluminum expand differently, which becomes a problem if they aren't tied together properly. As they expand in a pony tying together, because they expand differently, you create a loose junction. So anytime there's a loose junction and there's a lot of amperage pulled on that line, that area starts to arc. And when that starts to arc, that's where the fires start. Oh, my lord. I'm afraid. Put these things in the report. We have lines hanging across. What the hell's the hose? Question mark. How, how can you possibly miss things like hoses running next to electrical circuits? This is deplorable. You're testing colors, I see. Yes. This kitchen has been a work in process uh, from the moment I moved in. When, when I took possession of the house, the stink you just could not get out. It was so bad. So we ripped out all the You started cupboards. taking things apart. You started taking things tiles apart. Tiles off the wall, yes. And this was all tiles to go off Where's the tiles. Where's your sink? I don't, I haven't had a sink since November. Why? Because I had rescued this kitchen from a friend of mine who renovated her kitchen. Mm -hmm. Who installed them? My brother-in-law did okay. for me. That's why your corner door is wrong. Well, I don't know what I'm doing trying to fix this. 10 months without a sink. Yes. So using the basement sink. What I do is I fill up. You're camping. I'm camping. Can I just look under your sink for a second, Certainly. even though the sink's not there? OK, you are open, so you're allowing methane gas to come in. They should be sealed off. So there was a hood fan here before, and it must. And I didn't see any exhaust in the front. Go figure. Must go into the wall and up through the roof. It's the only thing I can think of. It's not in the report. Is it an issue? I have to look into it. You know, I, I see what's happening here. I see what you're doing. Yes, the inspector has missed yeah. quite a bit. It's a nice little place. Things were done here. Then you go in to do work. And then what you've done is wrong. So you brought in some people that cared to help you, but they did it wrong. And you're trying to get things done. And it seems like you're never getting things done here. I came Most here to Most importantly, we rest. need to check out the electrical. Yes. And that should have been in the report. That, you know, raise that question mark. I see things done with the electrical. I can tell there's no permit. Bring in a licensed electrician. I'm actually going to go through this place. I'm going to see what I find, and then Thank I'll let you. you know what I find and what we have to do to fix it. Thank you. OK? Thank no you. worries. Thank Time you. to relax, like you were supposed to. My biggest concern is the fact that he's going to turn around and tell me you know, this is just a house that nobody should be living in. It's just not safe. So already I've noticed things just from the outside that were not in the report. I wonder what type of job he had prior to this. She's a nice lady. You now she's concerned about electrical. I actually get it. It's a shame the home inspector actually didn't get it. She's worried. She, what she's actually, she said to me, is I'm worried this house could catch fire and start all the other houses on fire. And I mean, that's a concern. And if things weren't done with a permit, odds are they're not done right. Doesn't 
Doesn't have permits, I can tell you that much. Playing with the plumbing, cutting in the wall there. If there was a permit on the plumbing, the shutoff would not be buried behind the wall. I'm gonna bring in a plumber, and I would have recommended right away to bring in a licensed plumber. Well, the only thing I can think of for the hose is really simple. They did not have an outside tap in the backyard, so they, I guess this was used as a cubby hole to hold the hose. And you know, they ran it out the back door and they had a hose in the back to water the flowers. Something that should be in the report, I'll tell you. We should bring in the right people for the right information, and then that's worth your money. Because how much does it cost every single time I come into a house to fix a house with a ton of problems with money the homeowners didn't have? It's thousands. It's the things that, as a home inspector, we need to look for. Trouble zones, electrical, plumbing, HVAC, structure. Right down to the little things like the fan in the bathroom. Does it work? It must work. Look at the dirt on it. I like the simple toilet paper test. Does it suck it up? It does. So it's pulling out air. Is it clogged? Possible. Where the hell's it going? That's another question. What's with this area here? Kathy was saying there's some sort of half moon thing here, and I can actually just see a little bit of the contour that comes around. Was it a window at one time? You know, I care more about these things in the report than I do about cosmetics because, you know, they're going to write in the report there's standard cosmetics that's normal in all houses. There's issues with the wall, whether there's dimples, pops, screws. That's cosmetics. That's all simple stuff. I want to know the important stuff, the dangerous stuff. The family's living in here. I want to make sure that there's not going to be a fire, a flood, etc. Cosmetic. I'm here. Do I fix it? Uh, this is her bedroom. It's nice, master bedroom. Two pot lights pointing down in this area. They are the wrong pot lights to be in an attic zone. This is where we can have a possible electrical fire. Against code, unacceptable, should have been caught. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna bring in a licensed electrician. I'm gonna bring in an HVAC guy to look at the furnace. The standard things that I recommend everyone to do. Mr. Mike, how are you? Mr. Bennett. So we have an air conditioning, a gas meters. They all jump all, into one. Yeah, type. all the houses are like this. So let's just see if it's too close, can we do something about it? Problem is, is that in the report, he's noted that the air conditioner is old, but yep. in working condition. What do I see? Somebody has taped the hell out of the blind? That's not tape. What is that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. that means this is running too much. Something's wrong, it's freezing. Let's go see your kitchen. Take a look. What don't we see in here? Um, I don't see proper plugs. I don't see a sink. Wait a minute, ah, there's no sink here. There's no sink. <laughs> I was waiting. Oops. I was like, you know, 10 <laughs> seconds, 12 seconds. Well, come on. There's always a sink in the kitchen. I, I would have looked like Everything right past but the it. kitchen sink. <laughs> I'm doing her a favor by finishing the kitchen so she has a kitchen sink. <laughs> I can't stop laughing because I just know what we're going to get into here. I know it's Look at it, surprise me. Out. Okay, so. Look at the exhaust fans. Yeah. If, if we have to upgrade them, let's get Panasonic. And then we have problems with the homeowner moving in. L let me show you that. We're going to look at the garage. Okay. Okay. All right. And I'll show you why there's stuff at our neighbors. This is an old condo unit. About 50 years old. It's not bad shape, honestly. That's full. You're joking me. All right. <laughs> I know what I'm getting. I'm getting a bin. All right, we look up. What do we see? Somebody's put up some bone in the ceiling, trying to keep it nice and warm inside the kitchen up there. But uh, look at the light bulb, right? That's just not allowed. We could have a fire hazard. I love it, but you need to close it in. This is not in the report. It's absolutely dangerous. Yeah, there's no fire issues in the report. There's not too much in the report. You need anything? Call me. Don't call me about Thank this. You. Thank you. I might need an extra hand. Don't call you for this? No. OK, this is what I'd need you no, for. No, my truck's busy. I'll use your sun instead. I'll take it out on the sun. Yeah. You hate me, don't you? No. What did I do? I love you, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. It doesn't feel like it right now. OK, so right. I five. I find you fix. Got you, right. ready. OK. <laughs> OK, Sherry, MJ, do the dishes. Oh, I dirty lots of dishes. I just I'm no good at cleaning them. It's not good at cleaning anything, actually. I'm washing dishes. 
and it's not at my own house. Come on in, Joey. So, how you feeling today, buddy? Feeling good this morning. Yeah, you sure? Or are you gonna change that for me? Uh, well, take a look behind you. <laughs> a double take. What, what? I've never seen anything like this. No, I don't have any problem with it as long as it's all up to code, right? It's, as long as it's all legal. This isn't the only problem. There's stuff all over this house, okay? Uh, we have a, a box here that obviously had a light, but if you can see. Oh! Yeah, see, this is what I mean. I think he had some kind of computer terminal. It could be going down into the crawl space and back up to there. That's what I thought. I but thought I'll, these I'll wires look, were running for those plugs. I'll look into it. Dude, we'll just eliminate so all I'll that. Do my, uh, I'll do my test and troubleshoot. I think you got a big job ahead of you, bud. Ooh, hello. Look at this. Okay, Adam. You ready? Okay, hold on. That's the dining room, the dining room light. 13. Okay. The good news is the wiring will pass code. But in my eyes, the workmanship is sloppy. Now, when I walk into a home, I basically treat it as if it's my home. Would I do something like this in my home? No. So what I'm gonna do is those outlets we're gonna eliminate. By me eliminating those outlets, these wires are no longer needed. I didn't realize that there was like, there's gotta be easily 200 screws here. But uh, what this is, this is basically a Kelly screw. This is what's used for uh, metal studs. Not even half an inch in just drywall. So it's quicker than what I thought. That's a big mess. Okay, the goal is, you two, now that you've done the dishes, let's start packing everything into the bin, okay? Yep. And that means the storage bin, not the garbage bin. Okay. Jerry, you look so excited, you get the big box. Thank you. There you go, there's a smile. MJ! Yeah, boss. You get this next big box. All right. <laughs> There's the sink. So guys, let me bring you up to speed exactly what's going on here. We're giving her a new kitchen. She doesn't know it yet. <laughs> Nothing. I can't use anything that's in this place. We have to start from scratch. We're actually gonna be peeling up this floor and getting ready for tiles for tomorrow. First thing that comes to my mind, my main shuttle valve for this entire house is hidden. It should be accessible. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's one, it's the most important valve in the house. Right, yeah, you're, isolating, you you're isolating your water from the entire house, and this is the main that comes from your from your street, so you, you better have good access and control over that. Uh, plus, another thing is um, we have a floor drain, which at the moment is covered up. A corner vanity would actually solve this issue. It could actually get access to the main shutoff valve. It gives you access to your, your floor drain. Yeah. It'll still drain, but you don't want it under a cabinet, obviously. It's a fixture that needs accessibility for maintenance and inspections. Okay, so that solves this issue. Uh, it was just the shutoff here, Martin. What is this exactly shutting off right now? It looks like a, a shutoff valve for the um, hose booth that's probably right behind this wall. Garage. 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 Absolutely, okay, that makes so, sense. The uh, position of that is awkward and it's not the right place. Absolutely. Eyes. And obviously this is where our garden hose is coming from. Yes. <laughs> it, it still makes no sense. I'm assuming that she was watering her garden because there's no hose bib, yeah. hose bib in the back, yeah. right? When you were a kid and you're gardening for your parents or something, how many holes have you ever seen in a garden hose? It's leaking, spurting out every possible <laughs> seam, right? Like these always get holes in them. So what's saying is not leaking in the walls or the yeah, ceiling. True, true, it's yeah. not PEX, it's not copper, we can't use it. So course, yeah. we'll just eliminate it.
Well, these pull lights here, they're not rated for uh, contact with insulation. There should be a metal box around this. If I stick my hand up here now and I do this, there's the insulation. This could ignite just because there's a lot of heat that comes off these pole lights. What we're going to do is we're going to actually remove these two pot lights and we're going to install four pot lights centered to the room of the, the four inch ones. But they will be rated for insulation. I just like the color of blue in your eyes. Oh, oh. these are hazel. <laughs> these are green. You can see my eyes? <laughs> no one can see my eyes. You're a sweetie. Give me a hug. <laughs> Strong. What a good sister. Remember that. Strong. One day I want to be like you. <laughs> so we've had Joe in. He's he's looked at the electrical. Yeah, and it wasn't as bad. It was ugly. The, we're talking about the bank of plugs over here. Nothing was overloaded. It was just brutally ugly. I had him pull it anyway. There's still a lot wrong with the house in terms of electrical. Okay, so I had a feeling we'd see problems with electrical and problems with plumbing. Let's see the garage since it's empty. All right. Boy, you know, it didn't take much to see the ceiling because it was full, but right away, what am I seeing? All kinds yep. of air gaps that get, get right upstairs into the kitchen. Absolutely. Nothing is on the edges. Nope. Not in the report. This is unacceptable. Look at this bulb alone. Yeah. I'm surprised it hasn't even lit this on fire. Well, I think it has. Look at it. Yeah, I see melting. Oh, it is there. melting, yeah. It is melting. This should have been in the report. Yep. This should have been in the report. That is the foam and the drywall. Too many holes into the ceiling upstairs, which is? The kitchen. The kitchen. Let's go get her. All right, let's start here. Oh, dear. Where the receptacle is. Yeah. Is incorrect inside the cupboard. We can't do this. That's way too close to water. So, you know, this was a closet. It is now a laundry room. So somebody has changed it in the past. The question is, was it done right? Yeah. You're not supposed to know. Yeah. He That's is. why you hired the inspector. That makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, your bathroom. Damon has removed the toilet. He's removed the sink. He's pretty well removed everything but the wallpaper. Do you know where your shut off to your house is for your water? I have no idea. It's in the wall behind the cabinet where it's not supposed to be, okay? That's where the plumbing's supposed to be, but unfortunately, when they turned it into a bathroom, they had uh, concealed where your shut off is. So what, just imagine for a second. I know, so if, you have I, a massive if I had leak. a flood, yeah. like, I couldn't turn it off. We're gonna fix that, Oh okay? my goodness. We'll, we'll fix this. You also already have a new uh, outside tap in the backyard, so you don't have to worry about pulling that hose out of the cabinet anymore. <laughs> Joe's looked at this. This circuit here was overloaded. He's going to separate that, which means we're going to do damage on your ceiling, yeah. which really helps give us an excuse to pull this crap down and do it again. <laughs> Let's go this way. Okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, it's, it's not a kitchen anymore. It's, it's not a kitchen. It never was a kitchen. <laughs> it's sort of like... Oh, my Lord. His fault. <laughs> It really is, and it starts with Mike. Yeah, so we pulled out all your cabinets because... Your cabinets were not fixable. I cannot play with them any more than I already did. We're gonna give you a new kitchen, okay? Okay? Thank you so much. Thank him too. Dude, don't cry, you're gonna make me cry. To be able to sit down with my daughter while she does her homework and I can cook a meal, you know? And we haven't had that and it's just going to bring us closer together as a family. <laughs> Keep smiling. It won't be long, OK? Yeah. Don't come back. OK. Don't make me get my tools and come after you, OK? <laughs> Don't okay. come back. I'll call you. I promise. OK. okay. This man's going to take over from here. Thank you. Keep smiling. I just can't believe that they're actually doing my kitchen for me. It's, um, I'm just speechless. I'm absolutely speechless. Well, that's already looking better. Just by adding some plywood, I've actually taken out a lot of the waves that actually look really bad to begin with. 
nails tend to pop over the years. And that's why you get a lot of the waving in the original floor. By adding another sheet, it takes out all the little waves and gets the old floor sucked back down to the original joist. So I can see right now, I've got only about a quarter inch gap now under my level. I can actually take out all the little dips that are left with thin set. I'm happy. In order for me to do a kitchen, we gotta start from scratch. This wall was the worst of the bunch. This is where my major cabinets are going, so I wanna level these walls. Just meant me pulling off the strapping, actually bringing out a new studded wall, and it's actually way better. And it's gonna help us with electrical, and it's gonna actually make the room look actually square instead of it being cockeyed like it was before. Helps everyone out. The last thing I want to do in this kitchen before we leave today is get my super seal tile subfloor down so that I'm ready for the next day to actually lay my tiles. What this floor is basically designed for, the super seal, is to allow the floor to have movement underneath and on top without actually breaking the tile. dry receptacle is too close to the basin. We got water that's always being run in here. Water splashes up. You actually got a 240 volt receptacle here. It becomes a shock hazard. So what I'm gonna do is actually relocate it over here, which is further away from the water. I'm gonna take down the plug that's in the cabinet for the washing machine. And relocate it to this stud over here. The initial problem I had was the uh, uh, isolation valve for the uh, uh, hose bed located in the garage, which was right in the middle of the, of the hallway in the ceiling. So what I'm doing is I cut the piece out, uh, and we're going to be actually relocating it uh, into a more uh, sort of isolated area where you don't really see that and, and come across that on a daily basis. Uh, I'm just putting an isolation valve here with a drain port. Uh, and then the line will be sloped so that when this is isolated, the line in the garage can be opened and the water will drain away by itself. So you remember what was here before? We had an actual cabinet with a sink here. That was the only access they had to get to this shutoff. Well, Kathy couldn't find it, probably because it was three feet buried into the back of the cabinet. This is my access. This is the main shutoff for the whole house right here. What we're doing here, we're moving the cabinet, putting a pedestal sink in, leaving this as an access to the main water source for the whole house. If anything was to burst in the winter or if they had any water issues where there was a leak going on, they need access to the main water shut off so that they could shut down the whole house so they don't flood their house. I'm sorry, there's a big one back here. Where is it? I hate spires. Oh, don't do that. Oh, he is kind of big, actually. I'm going to set you free. Okay. Sure. No, no. Door for me. Okay. This isn't about money. This is about safety. You know, this is one of the easiest home inspections. I'm telling you, I read the report. A ton of yes marks on it, right? Place is fine. Buy the house. Well, what if there's something wrong with the electrical and it burns it down? How many other homes has he inspected? and what are these people living with, and they don't even know about it. Joey's got to actually get this light over to the center of this room. We're actually going to give her a pool table light, OK? So for the two of you, this is going to be your little project in here. What we're going to do is going to give her a bit of a billiards room. We're just trying to pump up this area a little bit. I want you guys to pop these down, which means safety gear, right? Very, very careful. Obviously, this stuff's gonna shatter like it did there. Take down all this. You guys are gonna actually do the patches on the ceiling that Joey's created after he's done his electrical work. And then you're gonna skim this out like we've done before, okay? Okay, I've got Gary looking at the furnace today, making sure the furnace is a-okay. I have him looking at the air conditioning lines because that thing was a solid block of ice at one point. Want to make sure that's up and running for Kathy. 
We're also going to look at some ceiling fans today. We have some bathroom ceiling fans we have to run. Now we have an issue. We're surrounded on both sides. Where do we run them? That's what Gary's up to. Basically, what we determined is they have uh, two washroom vents, and they have them both connected in the attic, going out one vent. Um, it's a three-inch line. It's too small, um, and it's venting to the roof vent. Um, which is almost three inches away, so it's actually blowing in the attic. You know, it's a bathroom. You're putting moist air into the attic. Anytime you're going to put uh, warm, moist air into a cold zone, it's going to create moisture. It's going to create, you know, it's a potential for mold. Well, this is the one piece. Uh, this is the one that was going up, up through the roof, going to the uh, roof vent. So we're gonna strip those all out. It's gonna be opening up some drywall, uh, replacing the fans, running some new lines up, two separate lines, not one line. You can't tie exhaust fans and tie them all into one line. They don't vent properly. Um, and put cut in some roof uh, vents, proper ones. What we're doing here is installing proper exhaust vents. So what we're going to do is uh, install these vents, which are connected right to the fans themselves, so they vent right out on top of the shingles. And inside the vent itself, there's a what they call a flapper. And what that does is, uh, when the fan's not on, that opening is closed, so that cold air doesn't come down the pipe and, and create a condensation issue. Um, it opens then with the pressure of the air of the fan. We're installing two, and that will be the two dedicated uh, exhaust vents. The customer was complaining about their coil freezing up. In all aspects, the air conditioner is working perfectly. It was just a problem with their filter. It actually got blocked up with hair and uh, dirt. That actually takes away from the airflow of the, uh, going through your coil to warm up the gas. Usually they're just disposable. Um, with these ones, you're able to actually wash them out. Two things I've noticed here that they have an issue with is their bushes over here. Actually, what will happen is the air is going to come up. It's going to hit the bushes and get drawn back into the coil. So on a really hot day, you're not providing the airflow to cool the gases back down. And also, on the lines here, they're actually missing insulation. But when it's not insulated on a really hot day, you're actually gonna take away from the efficiency of the unit by warming that pipe up. So we're just gonna throw some insulation on it. That way everything's gonna run properly for the customer. We are gonna lose the ceiling in here. First of all, we have to lose the uh, styrofoam because it's flammable and it's already started to melt where the light is. So let's just take that down. We have our kitchen right above us. There's no way I want to do a kitchen for her without properly insulating this. We're going to use a proper insulation here, which is going to be spray foam eco, of course. Well, in addition to uh, keeping the room above the garage quite warm in the winter, the spray foam is also going to act as a vapor barrier, help uh, keep any of the gases out, as well as the coat of mud in here. It will caulk all the seams, keep any vapors from being able to travel from the cars from the outside up into the, into the living area. We were trying to figure out how we were going to wire up the kitchen without making a lot of damage. Found out that Damon was planning on taking the ceiling down in the garage, and that was um, actually perfect for us. Okay, hey Robin, you got it? Go ahead and pull. So right now, we got this line is coming from the kitchen through the garage. We're gonna pass it through here over towards the panel. All our electrical is done in the kitchen. We brought up all brand new lines from the panel to here. Our new valence lights, our new microwave hood fan, our new dishwasher, our stove the way I wanted it done. Not coming up through the floor the way it was. Now it's coming up in behind the wall. 
Spectre's gonna come here. He's gonna give us the okay. They can go ahead and start drywall. <laughs> It's a modular kitchen. Wow. It's already prefab. Well, the big advantage is time sensitive. If you're gonna get a modular kitchen, it's already ready to go at the warehouse, ready to be shipped in flat boxes. A custom kitchen, sometimes you have to wait anywhere from three to four months. In terms of warranty, some of these kitchens actually offer you know, a good 25 year warranty. Uh, right now we're putting in the uh, kitchen exhaust uh, ducting for our kitchen hood. Uh, unfortunately here they didn't have one to begin with. Um, so we're putting a new one in. We'll be tying in the ductwork through the cabinet that'll be up into this joy space and we'll have an insulated flex running uh, through this cavity. Um, and the reason why we're going to be putting an insulated flex is that's going to be a cold zone. Um, any cold air that's going to come in through that line, you'll have an insulated flex it won't condensate. Okay, I'm being chased down by a major deadline here. I've got to finish this job in about three days. I got every trade that I know in this house, plus my whole crew here today. She's finally going to get a kitchen sink. I have the plumbers behind me here putting in a sink. We still have a lot to do. Everyone better be working. Oh, my lord. <laughs> They're perfect. It's like I got a little piece of heaven brought down to me. I don't have to worry anymore. These guys put in a hell of a night last night, so I'm feeling actually pretty good about stuff. We're at our final stages, which makes me very happy. It means I can get Kathy back into her house. We'll have my countertops going in today. I still have Joey finishing off his electrical today. And as you can see, I have painters going full blast. We're still plastering. I'm just finishing mudding. There's patches all over the house. It's like they breed or something. Every time you think you're done, there's another patch to do, so. Yeah, it's gonna be a late one tonight. I was given the chance to pick the paint and make the room look nice myself. I'm still learning, so Adam definitely helped me out with the wainscoting. And um, Michael skimmed out the ceiling, so I hope it looks good in the end. Demo. Hi, bud. Kitchen's done. We're doing well. Thanks, Joey. Appreciate it. It's nice to see you and the plumber getting along for yeah, a change. Usually water and electricity don't mix, right? We're done also up here in the master bedroom. We got our pod lights uh, all powered up and they are working. And uh, what we also did for the homeowner, which she doesn't know, and it will be a surprise, she had purchased a ceiling fan, and we installed it as well. It's a little cool today, Mr. Bennett. It's freezing. You got my hands in my pocket? I know. Wow, this looks like a new garage. Yeah, with spray foam, tight equal. electrical, plumbing fixed, and paint and some caulking. Let's, uh, let's see the inside. OK. Oh, the paint looks good. <laughs> Got rid of the receptacles. Yeah, look at that. Magically disappeared. So we fixed the air conditioning, yeah. fixed the basement, we fixed the electrical, we fixed the plumbing. Yeah. And she's got a new kitchen. And she's got a new kitchen. That was the bonus. Here, pro, sir. Thank you very much. I got her waiting in the back, so let's get her. OK, I'm just sort of blocking you, right? <laughs> OK, now you can walk in. OK. <laughs> 
Thanks, oh, side. this is wonderful. Kathy, feel the walls. There's no more No more stipple. stucco. That's right. There. This is great. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Not a bad start, eh? This is nice. Damn, not a bad start at all. This is my daughter, Sherry. She did all this, eh? Oh, my god. Came and gave her a few tips, and she did it all. Yeah, she knew it was for Becky, lovely? too. Now, the garage. Okay, it looks really good. Now, everything was taken down the ceiling. It was actually styrofoam that was on the ceiling, not yeah, a rigid foam. Yeah, I know that, yeah, yeah. And that should have been caught by the home inspector. It's a complete fire hazard. That was all pulled down. Brought in uh, our wall type specialist guys. They came in, spray foamed everything. Now it's safe to pull your car in, because before it was not safe to pull no, your car in. No, no. Remember, so... the exhaust fumes. I'm gonna show you the bathroom. Come on in okay. <laughs> You remember the bathroom, this was the garden shed. It had the hose that would water the back lawn. Well, we have a spigot outside, so we have a tap outside. Now, we have total access to the water valve that's in there to everything we need, and made it quite simple. New toilet, pedestal, sink, cleaned it all up. That is absolutely gorgeous. Same Just, good, eh? Oh, yeah, I love them. Well, as I'm only as good as the people around me, as Mike says all the time, and that's the crew. You know, it's just, it's beautiful. Okay. This is your laundry room. It was a closet, so uh, we, we did find electrical issues, plumbing issues. We found all kinds of things, but it's all right. Everything's workable now, and you can just go back to it. Like it's Thank you. Okay, and it should have been you. caught. These are things that should have been caught. Oh. But you're, you're about to see something really nice. I'm afraid. This is are you afraid? For. I can tell you this. You have a kitchen sink. <laughs> so let's go take a look at your kitchen sink, okay? Come on, come on. Okay. I'm gonna enjoy this. Oh, my lord. And it looks pretty sunny, eh? Come on in. You have a kitchen sink. Oh, my god. I've got a lot more than a kitchen sink. Look at the kitchen cabinets. It's unbelievable. Isn't that nice? You have cabinets that work, and they're not painted. There's no paint on the glass. I was trying so hard. I know you were. You did a great job. We just had to finish it for you. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at it. So, Hang on, I gotta do this. Yeah, you gotta do this. <laughs> you can do this. You can do this. <laughs> Just don't spray me. I never would have this without you guys. And I can't say thank you enough. So, I actually am gonna have a home. You are gonna have a complete home. It is pretty nice, I have to it's admit. It's so beautiful. You guys did a good job. Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. No worries. You deserve it. You guys work so hard. Thank you so much. You're welcome. There's a lot of people can say that they've met people that have really touched their lives a lot. Um, but I met a whole group of people who touched my life. Yeah, they're pretty good people. And my daughter. You're gonna make me cry. Let's go eat. How about okay. that? You don't want to see Damon cry. Oh my god. It's a nice. disgusting. Mess. I want to see that. Oh, no, you yeah. don't. No, you don't. There's there's for fingers and tears everywhere. Group hug. Oh. That is really cool. Thank you.